By associating objects with MBS create clauses, you are able to annotate your model with clause references and export an MBS create outline specification. You're able to associate objects in a model or Revit families from the family editor. When you associate an object, the MBS parameters are added to the object or family. I will begin by showing how to associate objects in a model. Then I'll cover associating objects in the family editor. From this project, I will select this window object. This object does not come from the NBS National BIM library and therefore does not include the NBS parameters. From the NBS tab, I will select Associate Object with Clause. The Find Clause window opens. The NBS button allows me to select a system or product clause from the NBS Create classification. The Office Masters option allows me to choose any Office Master clause from my library. It is worth noting that if you're associating to Office Masters, you need to be logged into the NBS plugin and the NBS guidance. The Specs option allows me to select clauses from a linked specification. I only want to see my Office Masters, so I will deselect NBS. From the Office Master and Specs options, you are able to display these clauses as a list. I will select the window system from my Office Master library. If I export a specification from this model, the Office Master version of this clause will be added to the specification. If I view the object type parameters, I can see that these properties have now been added. By associating your Revit families with MBS create clauses, the MBS parameters and relevant values are added to these objects. This means that if the object is used on a project, it will have an association with a relevant MBS create clause. If the same family object is used on multiple projects, it will always be associated with a clause, and this helps ensure more consistency in the way that objects are used in your office. I've opened a doors family in the Revit family editor. Most of the features on the NBS tab are unavailable in this view. However, you are able to add properties and associate the object with a clause. I will select the associate object with clause button. If the family has multiple types, I'm prompted to select a specific type or associate all family types. The Find Clause window appears. I can browse or search the NBS clauses or any Office Masters. Note that you are not able to select clauses from specs, as you are not able to link an NBS specification to a Revit family file. Once associated, I can view the NBS parameters and values in the family by selecting Family Types and scrolling down to the General heading. On associating this family, I can save this by selecting Load into Project and Close. From here I am prompted to overwrite the existing version of this family or overwrite and save the parameter values. To add the new MBS parameters to this object in the project, select to overwrite the existing version and its parameter values. Note that when I view the type parameters for this object in the project, the MBS parameters have now been added. 